corporate social responsibility is ingrained in, in everything that we do. Um, you know, as, as awareness of what we do has grown, um, uh, so too has our engagement with the, all of our stakeholders in these important issues of environment, sustainability, and how our projects are, are integrated into their communities, why they're beneficial from a from a needs perspective, but well, as well from an economic perspective, it's, it's a matter of balance. And that conversation is getting more and more broad every day, and we have to be ready for that conversation. CSR is a cornerstone uh, of our business. It always has been, um, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, its relevance has become even more predominant. Energy is necessary for the North American marketplace. Everybody gets that. That's what makes our lives run. But if we don't do it safely, um, simply we are not going to be the ones allowed to actually do it. So it's, it's a cornerstone and we're investing in time with our employees, better technology, training um, and process to make sure that everything we do is focused on that primary objective, which is you know, safe, reliable operations every day, 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. I think it's clear, you know, the demand for energy globally is going to continue to increase. And even here at home, you know, there's new and greater needs for, for increased energy. What we know is we're going to need all energy sources, renewables and existing fossil fuel technologies to meet that growing need. There'll be a transition to a less carbon intensive energy future, but that's not going to happen overnight. So we're going to participate in both that transition. We've spent about a $5 billion to date on emissionless technology and we look for continuous ways to reduce our emissions uh, along our pipeline system. So fugitive emissions of methane along, along our gas pipeline systems, for example, we're spending significant amounts of money on research and development and finding ways that we can reduce those kinds of emissions and we're involved right across the whole value chain in doing that. The, you know, the energy we delivered itself, I mean, it, uh, it was done you know, historically very quietly. Uh, behind the scenes, people would turn on their light switches, turn on their furnace, they would get the energy they need, and never questioned where it came from. Similarly, you know, our economic impact on, on, on the communities had been you know, equally as, as silent. Uh, you know, in most communities, we're, we're one of the single largest taxpayers in, in those communities. Uh, the jobs that we provide in those communities are a lot of times they're the highest paying jobs in the community. As we move forward to try to develop new projects, not only do we need to talk about the environmental impacts, the safety impacts, um, and, and, and how those communities will be impacted. We also have to talk about you know, the economic impacts of, of both the projects themselves, the ongoing uh, operations, um, but as well you know, the economic impact of the energy that we deliver to those, those, those communities. They're what keeps factories running, and they're what uh, you know, sustains economic development and growth and, and a way of life in those communities. It's a broad dialogue that we have now which starts with, with, with safety, environment, but transcends into you know, how they live um, and, and the social responsibility aspects, right to you know, how, they, how they, they make a living and, and how we, we develop, deliver not only energy, but economic prosperity and you know, potential for growth and, and enhancement in those communities. It really is a you know, full sort of life cycle spectrum that, that is the conversation we have, have with people. And you can't have an individual conversation about one piece without talking about the other pieces because they're all, all interrelated. As well, we're, we're looking for feedback from, uh, uh, from our stakeholders as to what's, in, what's important to them. So you know, all of these, these things are sort of melded together. Is, is it, we have to have an open, honest dialogue with, with all of our stakeholders and one of the cornerstones of that open, honest dialogue is a, is a comprehensive report and we want to hold ourselves accountable um, and we want people to know that we hold ourselves accountable for those things. Thank you.